Kejriwal demanded kickbacks from the South Group in exchange of giving favours to them is what the Enforcement Directorate has said in the courtroom. I'm repeating that. ASG SP Raju, arguing for the Enforcement Directorate, reading the remand application has said, Kejriwal demanded kickbacks from the South Group in exchange of favours to them. In exchange of giving favours to them. Adding that 300 crores were given to the Ahmadmi party by K. Kavita, who's the daughter of KCR, the former chief minister of Telangana. This is a very, very big, big charge. Shavan, has this number come out before? 300 crore rupees given to the Ahmadmi party by K. Kavita. I don't know whether she gave it as an individual or as a leader of the BRS or as a leader of the South group. There are three possibilities. I don't know what it is or what the courts, uh, what the courts have been told. But K. Kavita gave 300 crores to the Amarmi party is what the EDS said in court. Shavan. <clears throat> well, Dirajit, a note of caution right now because so far in the official documents uh, that were produced by the enforcement directed in the court, they themselves have only made a mention of 100 crores. Now, whether the money was received, whether the money was utilized, whether they have been able to establish the money trail is something that they, even the enforcement directed has not made a mention of it in the past. These are, uh, these are based on the statements that have been recorded so far with regards to whether at all he has received uh, 300 crore, whether at all this money was diverted, whether whether at all this money was utilized, these are certain aspects that are not very clear. And if at all the number has actually changed from 100 to 300 crore, we will certainly have to wait for the finer details that will only emerge after we get our hands on the remand copy. So we'll have to be extremely cautious about this because so far there was no indication, uh, at least uh, coming in, uh, how exactly have they been able to compute this number of about 300 crores because uh, given the fact that all this while the enforcement directed only maintained till about last week uh, in the remand application that was filed before the court they had only made a mention of 100 crore and this was uh, you know this was a number that was actually quoted by K Kavita in a meeting that she's had with a man called Arun Pillai who's also seen as the right hand person of uh, of K Kavita this meeting happened in Hyderabad and they had said that uh, if at all that 100 crore rupees is actually given to the Amadmi party then there would be changes that would be brought into the excise policy now this is part of the statement that I'm quoting from the remand application that Republic TV has accessed. So I would once again uh, you know, exercise some caution with regards to the 300 crore factor because we'll have to get our hands on the remand application to understand where does the number really come in from and what is it that they are really basing this on. Okay, well, I'm getting some more breaking news updates right now. The Enforcement Directorate is also reading out the statement of Sharath Reddy. Statement of Sharath Reddy who has turned approval in the case. Sharath Reddy was also called a member of the South Group, Shavan. Sharath Reddy was called a member of the South Group uh, and his statement is being read out. He's the approver in the case. What did Sharath Reddy tell the Enforcement Directorate uh, while turning approver? Shavan. Well, in fact, I'll just uh, quickly take our viewers through some of the statements uh, because these are statements that have already been accessed by Republic TV. If you just give me a minute, uh, I'll just open up uh, the documents that were accessed by Republic TV, which is about the multiple statements that have been uh, you know, that have been registered by the enforcement director. And here I have with me the statement of Sharath Reddy. Uh, this is uh, the statement that we have accessed, exactly what is being read out uh, by the ASG inside the court. And I'm quoting statement of Sharath Reddy, part of South Group. Uh, this was uh, recorded on 25th of April 2023. This was recorded under Section 50 of the PMLA Act, in which they have revealed that sometime in March 2021, Arun Pillai con contacted him, informed him that there is a new business opportunity in Delhi liquor business and K. Kavita was in discussion with Arvind Kejriwal and Mani Sisodia with reference to then upcoming policy through Vijay Nair who proposed that if K. Kavita provided 100 crore rupees to Arvind Kejriwal and Mani Sisodia they would amend and implement the excise policy beneficial to her. 
this is exactly what Sharat Reddy has said. I believe, uh, you know, we can put out more details of it. Uh, Niranjan, if we could provide this to our desk, I had already put this out, the statement of Sharat Reddy, which is exactly what is being read out by the ASG, because here you find a mention of uh, Arvind Kejriwal. And once again, this is, they are basing this on a conversation that took place between Arun Pillai and K. Kavita.